Pope Francis is greeted by tens of thousands of jubilant Chileans at a mass in the capital, O'Higgins Park. It's the same spot St. John Paul II celebrated mass three decades ago. Good evening from Washington, D.C., and thank you to those of you joining us from around the world for news from a Catholic perspective. I'm Lauren Ashburn. Pope Francis begs for forgiveness for the irreparable damage done to children who were abused by clergy. This comes on the Holy Father's first full day in Chile. Francis dove head first into the scandal that has hurt the Catholic Church's credibility in the country. The Holy Father also met privately with Chilean President Michelle Bachelet and addressed lawmakers, judges, and other authorities. Arsonists firebombed three Catholic churches in Chile today. Two were in the south, and the third was south of the capital, Santiago. Overall, nine churches have been destroyed since last Friday. It's not clear who is responsible for the attacks. Paula Schmidt is a Chilean journalist. She also contributes to Catholic Voices Chile. That's a group of professionals who articulate the church's point of view. Welcome to the program. Thank you, Lauren. We just heard about the terrible fires that have been set. How are Chileans reacting to both that and to the Pope's visit? Well, there are two contrasting things that you just said about Chileans reacting to the Pope and the churches being burnt. Um, I would say that the festivity and the excitement is much greater than what's been happening in the South about the churches being burnt. It's been very important for us to receive the Pope in this opportunity How, after 31 years. After 31 years. How are Chileans reacting to the Pope's apology to victims of abuse? I think it was a much needed point that he made um, and that Chileans are very grateful to have the Pope recognize that issue and to acknowledge their pain. This visit has been marked by a lot of controversy as, as we have talked about. What are the issues causing this pain, this contention? Um, well, I'd have to disagree on being a controversial visit in the sense that people knew what to expect of this Pope. Chileans are very hopeful of the future and kind of cling to the Pope's message about not closing the eyes towards the past, but also recognizing the present and projecting the future together. So I think it's been a time of hope and a time of happiness, and even though People recognize, like the Pope, that there have been problems and fragmentations in society. You must not hold that a grudge, and you have to unite together in order to be hopeful and to project the future. Very good. Thank you so much, Paula Schmidt, Chilean journalist. Thank you.